Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. First off, we're gonna put our hair out of our faces. We're gonna start by priming our eyes with our concealer and I'm using the Too Faced concealer and I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender, like so. Now I'm gonna go in with the Sephora number 99 brush and my Giorgio Armani loose powder and I'm gonna set all that concealer. This is gonna help our eyeshadows blend out smoother. And I'm gonna go in with this Natasha Denona Metropolis palette um, and I'm gonna go in with the color Rope and you're gonna need a big blending brush. It does. You don't precisely have to use the stuff I'm using. You can use uh, Morphe palettes or other brushes that you have but I'm just showing you guys what I use to create this look. So you're gonna wanna do the outside and the inner part. The outer and inner part of your eye and then a little bit in the middle. This color, this rope color is gonna help uh, be our transition color and it's gonna make it more fluffed out, smoked out. And then you're gonna get another tapered brush, a blending brush and you're gonna get that uh, was it rope? No, that's not rope. Well, that other eyeshadow I just showed. And you're gonna do the same exact thing with it. Just a little, just a little bit tighter. Inner and outer, because we're doing a halo eye. See how it's creating a depth? A depth? Now I'm going to go in with the color Antique and I'm going to darken that up for more depth. And I'm using a little tiny Morphe blending brush. Inner and outer, just like that. It are, as you can see, it already has a depth. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the color Penny, this beautiful orangey color, and an all over lid brush. And we're gonna place that right in the middle. And before, I picked up the eyeshadow and I sprayed it with some Morphe spray. So it intensified the color, made it more look more metallic, as you can see. You can also use your fingers, that would work too but I want to use my brush. And it's just going to be in that middle area of your eye. Because we're creating that halo look. And then I'm going to use my big blending brush again. I'm going to blend that all out. Blend it out. And I'm going back in with a little tiny precision blending brush and I'm using, I'm pretty sure I picked up more antique and I darkened, darkened it up a little bit more. And same with the other color I used with the other blending brush. And then I went in with Blaze and this tiny little pencil brush because it was a bit lighter than the other color we were using. And I just put that right in the center to Give it a little bit more dimension, but you, you do not have to do that. Well, you can leave it like that also, or I'm going in with this royal color as my eyeliner. And of course, I picked it up with this tiny brush, and then I sprayed it with the Morphe setting spray. And I'm going to use it as eyeliner. but you do not need to put eyeliner on. You could just 
put mascara on and call it a day, put your foundation and the rest and you'll be good. But I wanted to take it a step further and add the green. Then I went in with my mascara and now time for foundation. And I sprayed my face with the Morphe setting spray. And then I went in with my foundation. Then I'm going in with my concealer. This is the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. Putting it under my eyes, on my chin, on the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my forehead. You always want your concealer to be a bit lighter than your foundation because it's going to bring that out. Those areas are going to be brought out. And then I went in with my loose powder. Again, the Giorgio Armani one with the Sephora 99 brush. And I'm going to bake with it a little bit. Like you can see, I'm setting that concealer in place. Then I curled my lashes really quick because I'm about to apply falsies. And if you don't curl them, my lashes are like just straight. And then you can tell that I'm wearing eyelashes. And I'm wearing the lashes in the style Mykonos by Lily Lashes. These are beautiful. I got these at Sephora, I think. Okay, and then I did my eyebrows, I brushed them up, and I colored them in, and I also used a Charlotte Tilbury, um, like, what is it, like a, it's not glue, but the gel to set them in place, and then I went in with my Chanel Loose Powder, and powdered all over my face, and while I'm powdering my face, I'm also rubbing that other loose powder I had, because the other loose powder was brighter, as you can see. And the Chanel loose powder is cl more close to my skin tone. And applying loose powder is going to help the bronzer, blush, whatever you're using, blend out easier. Not all patchy. Okay, so now I'm going in with this Park Avenue Princess palette. And I'm going to use this Princess Cut and this R10 Morphe brush. And I'm going to bronze my face with it. Then I'm going to use this Bare Minerals blush and it's called You Hat Me at Merlot with this MAC brush 168 to apply it. Such a beautiful color. Then I'm going to use this Pat McGrath highlighter palette. I'm going to use those two shades and a little highlighter brush from Morphe and apply that highlight. Now I'm contouring uh, uh, my nose. Well, it's not really contouring. I'm just trying to make it not look as white. So I'm bronzing it up a little bit. Just with the same bronzer I was using earlier. And then I'm going to go in back with the palette that I was using. I'm going to use that shade with a flat definer brush and put it under my waterline. And I know it looks intense right now, but we're going to blend that out. 
and then we're blending that out with the MAC 239 and we're gonna go back in with Blaze to blend that out. Blending, blending, blending. You can blend it as low as you want it. This is how I'm blending it. Not too low, but not too high. Yes, we must open our mouth to, for this to work apparently. And then I went back in with uh, the antique color and I just placed that uh, on the outer parts of my uh, eye. Then I went in with mascara. You guys know how to apply mascara. And then I used the color Days by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a liquid lipstick. And then after that, I used my beauty blender to like pick up all the excess. And then after that, I did my hair because y'all can see that my hair is not okay right now. And after that, you'll be done. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.